you mentioned that I'm the chairman of the Economic Growth Council. And I was appointed in 2016. And the mandate is to uh, develop a set of policies that the government can follow right. that will uh, result in uh, growth. Since 2000, March of two, May of 2016 until now, right. three years, the EGC, this is unprecedented in the world. We have had over 400 meetings with stakeholders. The first 75 meetings, wow. what we did, we listened to the st st stakeholders of Jamaica. We collated what we heard in terms of the, the ails of Jamaica and also the, the, the solutions. Right. And we came up with uh, a, a manifesto, right? Which included eight growth initiatives, 111 sub-initiatives, wow. which became and is the, legis uh, is the basis of the legislative agenda for the Jamaican government. Wow. One of those eight growth initiatives was we had to be di government divestiture of uh, public assets into the hands of the private sector. Right. And more importantly, it's not just a divestiture because what, we're, what we want is because we know a lot of wealth is being create, created. We want for the wealth to be democratized. Exactly. Right? So we're not only just divesting, we're divesting through a publicly traded vehicle so Jamaicans can participate in the wealth creation that is happening in Jamaica. So number one, it's a national imperative. Number two, uh, it's being done in such a way that Jamaicans can participate in the wealth creation that's occurring. Number three, it's an imperative because we want to keep paying down debt. 